everybody welcome back to my channel so let's do gemini for today april 2021 before starting do subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram for more updates i've uploaded uh, april horoscopes recently do check it out on instagram for personal readings you can contact me on instagram or whatsapp me details are given below sun rising and venus signs Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because this is a general reading, not your personal reading. Gemini, please. All right. Princess of Cups. Hmm. Dealing with the Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Energy is quite fast. Nine of Cups. Oh, all right. I feel like you're in love right now, Gemini. This person is a little um, on and off with you because they're not pretty sure like um, maybe dealing with a player or player like why this person has a characteristic of a player I feel you may have recently had a separation with them or recently had a fight with them because <clears throat> this person is very much into themselves pretty self-obsessed I see like this person is quite attractive though but uh, they are self-obsessed so they want to do things the way they want to do and you don't like it because sometimes they like it when uh, people are attracted to them and they may also be talking to some people behind your back and you know this thing Gemini and this has caused you anger and you just don't want to deal with this anymore all right or you're tired of this so you may have or this person may have fought with you because of the situation could be a strong Scorpio energy all right I feel like you guys had a big fallout. This person does have feelings, but I see like this is pretty unstable. All right. This is not very loyal or very long term or stable types. However, this person now decides to talk to you. Okay. They want to talk to you. I feel like you're tired of working on this connection, making efforts. And now this but because this person is a little immature with their behavior, they may have other options, even though they see you as a person they want to commit with but they have options okay so they may be dating other people behind your back and you know this thing so right now they want to talk to you and they want to set things up they want to make up with you like they want to patch up they want to revive this connection okay <clears throat> and reunite with you you, uh, this could be a Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. So I feel like uh, the situation is very stuck right now. Not moving forward because uh, you're tired of this shit. Okay. This has been going on from a long time. I feel this person is uh, selfish and they're bothered about their needs more than they're bother bothered about your needs. And you're not going to change for uh, things right now you're very angry you're very stuck and you're you're sticking to the decision of not talking to this person all right and it's making it difficult for this person to really convince you all right yeah see so they really want to reach out to you they want to talk to you and they want to make things better with you all right and uh yeah, they're making all the possible moves to, you know, get things better. I feel like this person is manipulative. Do not think that they really love you because they may be seeing you as a great catch. Maybe your money is great. Your finances are on point, And this person is like, they're also attracted to you. They find you extremely attractive. But at the same time, this person is not very... Uh, one man women or one women man kind of a person so they may be uh, using mind games or they may be using smart uh, words to convince you so that you don't go anywhere so they're pretty clever you're dealing with a manipulative person could be a strong scorpio energy all right this is very manipulative they may be hiding a lot of things from you also and I feel like many times it's been like you've always, you know, accepted what they've told you, you know, you always got convinced, but this time you're not getting it. 
I feel like right now it pisses you off. This person pisses you off so bad right now. You don't want to stress over this connection. So you're, uh, you're focusing yourself on doing something that makes you happy. Your work, your art, your hobby, whatever it is, you're focusing on that. You're focusing on making money because this is bothering you. You just want to stay away from this love, okay, that this person has for you. And you know that this is a bit wishy-washy kind of a uh, personality that you're dealing with. I also feel like you're pretty confused, like which way to go. Should you move on or should you give them a chance or should you just stuck, uh, um, you know, stay with your decision and not talk to them for a while? You're very confused about the decision you need to make regarding this connection, okay? Because when you're not talking to them and they're making all the possible efforts, it makes you believe that they love you, all right? And when they're with you, they take you for granted. So you don't want to be taken for granted because you have self-respect and you're very clear about it. So with this, I feel like you're, um, they do want to marry you. They may have said that I want to marry you. But then this person is um, having some player like attitude maybe they're dating other people although they don't want to marry them they want to marry you but then this is a situation like that this could be a cancer energy i feel like you're uh really enjoying the uh career phase of your life i feel like your career is great and you're rising you're getting better because your hard work is paying off and i feel like you're enjoying the attention that you're getting at your workplace regarding your career I see you rising. I also see a uh, marriage on the cards for some Geminis here. Maybe with this or maybe with someone else. But yes, <clears throat> I see like you have options. It's not like this is the only person left in the world. It's just like you're giving them a chance or you just want to be loyal to one person. That is the reason. However, you have many options and you get to decide even though you're sticking to this person because you're loyal. Okay. I also see like you're looking for loyalty you're looking for a stable connection that can turn into a long term or marriage okay so also i see that your money is great yes definitely i see that marriage is on the cards your emotional happiness is going to know no bounds <clears throat> it's going to reach no bounds like your emotional happiness is going to be 100%. Like, you're going to be very, very happy. Whatever you're looking for, like, whatever makes you happy, a relationship, a marriage, love, money, um, scores, entrance scores, exam scores, whatever makes you happy, okay? You're going to get that. And you, you're going to feel like you're rising, you're flying high, you're soaring high. And this person is, that is why, not letting you go, okay? Because they cannot match your aura, okay that's the thing so i feel like you have options okay you have one option better than the other this person may not and you get to decide you just want one clarity you just want that you're just waiting for that clarity to happen before finally calling this person off from your life okay so i see you having more options just need to get out of your comfort zone you're behind your comfort zone when it comes to love and relationship you really need to look out beyond the situation that there are so many options that want you okay one after the other one better than the other like that you just need to have more clear vision about people i see like people want to approach you but you're simply ignoring them thinking about this person However, you really need to get to know more people because you'll see that there's so much more, you know, the grass is actually greener on the other side in your case, okay? I see like your attractiveness is growing with time because you're happy, because you're embracing yourself, because you're trusting yourself, you're being more creative with your work, you're getting more money, you're getting more recognition. That's making you even much more attractive and this person is definitely scared of losing you. They're always scared of losing you, I feel. Yes, so with the eight of wands, I see like you have options running towards you. You're highly, you've been, uh, you're the, you know, center of attention. People are talking about you, okay? People are talking about you. You're like very attractive and uh, there's so many wooers or suitors who are like crying over you, who want you, who want to be with you. 
and you're like simply taking your time like you're just enjoying your attention you may be breaking some people heart also without even realizing it but yeah some people get heartbroken because you're not focused on them you're focused on self and you may not be um giving them much heed that is the reason why i feel some people are getting hurt but uh, yeah they have to make more efforts isn't it because you're a person of self-respect so i do see like many people are being attracted to you many suitors are there or this person is also highly they are always attracted okay and i feel like you need to just see beyond your comfort zone there's so many options waiting for you okay Yes, yeah, see, the temperance is telling me that you really need to heal yourself from a connection that's not helping you um, or that's not making you 100% happy or emotionally fulfilled. So you really need that time <clears throat> to stay alone, away from that person, to realize that there are other options, okay? And there's much better option out there who can give you much more than these, okay so you just need to realize that there's so much more out there okay you just don't need to you know um babysit one person babysit the uh, an immature person male or female dealing with a sagittarius some of you yes four of pentacles i feel like um gemini you know, you have options, but you still don't want to let this go. You still want to work on this person because you care about them, okay? And you're not greedy. It's not like you're not greedy. And you have a lot of money over here. But when it comes to emotions, you want to stick to just one person. So, yeah, you want to give it a time. You want to just try again. You want to allow them to change or improve themselves. But I'm sorry, they're not going to improve themselves. You're just wasting your time for the wrong person. So I do see your money also getting so, so much better, okay? You'll be very happy. I see your money is on point and your money is going to be growing. I feel like you're doing more savings, okay? I see like you're letting, you're not letting this person go, someone from the past that you're not letting this person go. And I feel like it's time that you need to weigh the pros and cons of this person, okay? reconciliation every time you let this person go they always come back yeah this person is wanting another reconciliation and now you need to decide i feel like your friends can guide you better than uh, this and your friends may help you about what you need to do what action you, you need to take so you may be taking help of a friend also for uh taking an action i feel like um uh, Yes, this person feels a strong chemistry. They may be taking help of your friend to reach out to you. Um, but I feel like somewhere you're afraid of losing this person because you feel like you may not find love as much as this person is giving you. No, it's not like that. You're lovable and if this person loves you, anybody can. But the uh, matter of the fact is this person is not mature enough to stay or to you know fulfill your emotional needs so right now you want to stay away from them you're cutting off connection or simply want a time off here so you're not talking to them however this is making you feel negative about love relationships but don't feel negative because i see like you just need to trust your instincts and move forward and do take an action which is right for you by do see love is there if this is not the one that's working for you, there's someone out there that's really going to give you much more than this. And I feel like um, just stay positive about your love life. It's not like this is the end of the uh, game. You have more options coming in. One last oracle card I would like to pull out for my Geminians. Let's see what messages do we get, Gemini. All right, this is the card that wants to come up planning i feel like gemini it's time that stop uh, making your life uh, rambling here and there okay you need to decide if you want to stick to this kind of attitude or if you want to move forward because i see a lot of planning is going on regarding your career and that planning is important okay in your love life as well so i think like everything in your life needs planning okay it needs to be strategic if you want to have a peaceful outcome so that's about it gemini's i hope you've enjoyed it do not forget to like this video subscribe <clears throat> hit the bell share it with your friends and comment down below and let me know how this resonated till we see you next time bye stay blessed stay safe